I got into filmmaking maybe a slightly unusual route. I was a total extreme sports fanatic. Um, everything, skateboarding, BMX and rollerblading, heelys, ripstick, anything slightly dangerous and fun, I was in about it. But then I had a really bad accident. Um, I broke my arm quite badly, several operations later. Definitely knocked my confidence a little bit. So the natural progression was I started to film wildlife. Basically, I'm dedicating my filmmaking to now telling stories about the natural world. We're in St Abs, which is absolutely stunning, as you can see. But there is a little bit of a secret here, and it's when you go down to the beach in the water, it is equally stunning underwater. Having access to this sort of equipment, I don't take it for granted for a second. Having all these tools just to capture images like this, oh, it's amazing. When I watch anything, Blue Planet 2 or anything like that, that's changed the whole course of what I want to do with my life because you see images that look so amazing and that's what changes people's minds to think, okay, I'm going to address how I act and my influence on the planet and what I'm doing and what I'm doing with the ocean. I'm really lucky at the minute that I'm getting to go out and capture shots like that. Exactly what I want to be doing right now. What we have here is a kelp forest and it's actually an amazing environment for loads of reasons. Really significant at the minute in the climate emergency because it's a massive carbon sink. Just such an amazing natural material. They grow, grow about two feet a day sometimes. Filming these sort of landscapes and showing people how amazing and cool these environments are, people are like, wow, I had no idea that was right here, even in Scotland. So making sure they're in healthy conditions and looked after is really important and only going to get more important. Absolutely awesome! A hidden gem. A hidden gem of a spot in Scotland.